Oh, what's this? Good stuff. I just hope this won't be a dead end. Songbird said to keep to the tunnels all the way to Elizabeth Crest Street. Any chatter from her? Zero. Dead quiet. Still. Not good. Come on! Fuck. Got a hatch here. Could we jump, maybe? Hold up, V. Let's pause. Think for a sec. What's eating you? I don't like this. Can you try calling so me again? Stopping's not a good idea. We get pinned down, we're ground synth beef. Exactly. But so me can guide us out of this death trap. Call her, please. Okay, gonna give it a shot. Feed a songbird. Starting to worry us, girl. Song, are you there? No answer, huh? Guess you got me and only me. Great to see you again, Johnny. Curb the enthusiasm, kid. Never know. Could need me. So? Did you reach her? Nothing. No response. Shit. What happened back there? With so me? Something was off, for sure. Could say she got hit with a demon. Maybe tripped a defense protocol on the Chimera's ice. Could say? Mm-hmm. If Songbird was a cookie cutter runner. Both know she's not, though. Damn fucking straight. Uh, but who knows? Whole thing was a clusterfuck. You know, no net run comes without a burn risk. No. Impossible. Somi's had occasional off moments lately. Temporary slumps. But I'm sure she's headed where we're headed. Same destination she gave us. It's the reasonable thing to do. Right. Reasonable. Girl's gonna have a hell of a hangover. If she wakes up. Unamused. Not the time for jokes, Johnny. Being dead serious. Felt like I was underwater. Leagues down. Tried to surface, but this... Suffocating, sucking sound pulled me back in. Then when she lost control of the Chimera, the water turned into fucking boiling tar. Seems the sitch spiraled out of control. Amen to that. Though actually could have been a straight overload. Seen runners caught in those. Shit's ugly. So, can we move on? Feels like we're circling back. Yeah, saw mention an abandoned building. Place to lie low. No heat sig. Should be relatively safe. I pray you're right, Somi.
Pushable, you think? Could use a little help. Of course. Oh! A damn fork? Well, we didn't account for this. Which way now? Thoughts? Hmm. Try this way. Looks promising. Stop. On the right, see it? Here's where we surface. Christ, finally. Mm, I'm gonna smell musty for a week. Something? Nope. No way through there. Waste of time. All these tunnels are unfinished. So good. But the faster the better. Looks like a control room.
Here we go. Cameras? Here? Hansen's a military man. He loves control. And hates blind spots. Great. Betty, that's what we called her. Re-elected nine times. Can you believe it? She must have had her ass welded to that seat. Funny how she has her own street in Night City, of all places. That jealousy I'm detecting? Please. Jealous of what? What's the matter? Are you hurt? Yeah, could say that. Old wound. One that literally has you on the floor. Got a... experimental Arasaka biochip in my brain. It's killing me. Literally. Somi says she might have a solution. Wait. You're talking about the relic. That'd be the one. A secretive tech someone stole from Arasaka. On the day Saburo lost his battle with mortality, no less. Bingo. So that's how she could reach you. It also goes a long way toward explaining the nature of your deal. I appreciate the candor. Seems it's all for one and one for all, if we're to survive. Expecting more trouble? Tonight? I expect nothing but. It's best to be prepared for any contingency. Okay, this is us, safe. Great place for an ambush. Hopefully no one else thinks so. So me. Huh. Guess we got here first. Seems so. I'll have to sit tight. Though I assume I'd rather not sit in the dark. Power would be useful. We could also get the radio up and running. What? Can't miss our daily dose of fear-mongering? We need to know the situation on the ground. I want to change out of this mess. High time. Have a look around. I'll join you in a minute.
change. Into those filthy old rags. These filthy old rags won't be smeared all over every TV and terminal screen in the city. Unlike my presidential best. Have a look around. I'll join you in a minute. Check this, B. Attempted postmodern art. Like a home cooked generator. Maybe we kickstart it. Literally. Uh huh. Old Thornton engine pretty run down. A little bit of chew left, too. If the fuel's not degraded, it could actually run. But can't start it. Not without a power source. Sure, but seeing as we got a lull in the lead pouring down on us, listen. Got a bad vibe about this. You? Uh, makes two of us. Gang's got too many twists and turns. Songbird, S-tier netrunner, promises a panaceum, a cure-all, then gets wiped off the map. Myers, shady politico. Got a dagger thrown at her back all the way from Washington. Who by and why? Fuck if we know. Oh, plus Kurt Hansen and this fucking Sam launcher. Just preem. Got this hot, itchy feeling in my groin. Like someone's not fessed up to something. One thing's sure. Plot runs Mariana Trench deep. We'll cobble together the full picture, piece by piece if needed. More like rest in pieces. Us both. Anyway... Let's get this power sitch sorted. Do the trick by my eye. All good in there? Yes. I know how to change clothes, V. Just because I haven't had to for 12 years.
in you go. Fire it up. Fingers crossed. There it goes. And the maze balls. Look what I found. What do you say? There's more in the fridge. Feel free. Get with it. Booze. This is a good time. Let's see. Today I survived a Delta crash, a district-wide manhunt, and a prototype killer robot. Yes. It's a great fucking time. You look... like actual trash. Well, when in Rome, right? Grab a cope. Just earn yourself a vote, Madam President. Are you even registered? Housewarming gift from Songbird, maybe? Wouldn't that be wonderful? And circling back to Night City, speculative chatter continues tonight around the downed passenger craft. And U.S. representatives claim President Rosalind Myers was aboard when catastrophe struck. City officials have yet to release any statement. However, one all-too-familiar figure did decide to speak out. Kurt Hansen, the self-proclaimed leader of Dogtown, called a press conference earlier today to offer his take on the situation. I'm being framed, isn't it obvious? The NUSA's been out for my blood for years. Now I'm not without flaws. But another thing I'm not is suicidal. An attempt on the life of the head of the NUSA? What transpired in Dogtown is no trivial matter. I urge you all to consider the true motives behind this spectacle. The NUSA will take any excuse it can get to send forces into Dogtown. And will they stop there? <laughs> no. You, good people of Ninth City, are next in the fucking line. Shit. Mark my Fuck words. This. Troglodyte's clever. Maybe too clever for his own good. Not half dumb. Jumping on the media train, hollering war's coming. And it's all the NUSA's fault. Well, you sure know how to cheer people up. Some mysterious party's out to trigger war. An attempt on my life's a damn good case of spell eye. All the more reason for us to stay put. Got plenty of mysteries to solve. Songbird, Washington, Hansen. To name a few. Agreed. Hear that? Footsteps. Songbird? Maybe. Can't be sure, though. It's our lucky day, Shumba. A penthouse with a view of the city. And lights that work. Huh. This doesn't feel right. Nothing ever does with you, does it? Fucking killjoy. You want an angle on Hanson's airdrops? You got it. V. We need to eliminate them. Come on, man. Let's have Wait. a look around. Wanna try talking I'll first? Be I hope you know what you're doing. Weapons! Now! What the fuck? I won't say it again. Yo, 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 chill. Just looking for a place to hold up for the night. This one's taken, clearly. Told you. So I see. This the uh, presidential suite. Oh, shit. Word is. They a bounty on the head of Rosalind Myers. What are we gonna do about that? Come on, guys. Let's figure something out. We don't want any problems. Iron in my face? Say otherwise. This iron will stay silent so long as you do. Now that's an idea. But our silence ain't come cheap, yeah? Whoa. Pump the brakes, man. Not now, Tay. I was negotiating. Do you remember negotiating with Hanson? What happened? Not now. You negotiated with Hansen? What was that about? Not a small misunderstanding. They machete his leg off. You motherfucker. <sighs> was a conflict of interest. Colonel Dipshit don't appreciate motivated entrepreneurs like myself. 
Now my question is, what can you offer us that's better? You lost, Chum? Last I checked, we're in Dogtown. Don't tell me it's you two against the town here. One little misstep, and you're scop. Would you rather die in Dogtown, or find yourself a nice place across the city line? Your choice. Jacob? Mm hmm. And what's that supposed to look like exactly? There's enough space for four. Should be easy to stay out of each other's way. But if any uninvited guests arrive, we'll be counting on you to stand with us. This is your chance. There won't be another. Shit. But it might could be our last. You got a deal, Madam Prez. And... Want me a Rayfield? Jesus Christ. Aha. Uh -huh. Any model in particular? Shit, my ass will fit them all the same. Tell me where you want it parked. Will do. So long as your bodyguard don't slit our throats come nighttime. Well, V, do you plan to slit these two gentlemen's throats? Rest easy, Chum. Just mind your manners. Okay, I promise, Mama. Well, all fucking right. We got us a deal. I like to celebrate new chooms by tossing back a few. But T and I gots to be sharp. Airdrops come morning. Gotta get up early. Same here. Come on, V. It's been a hell of a long day. Watch the master and learn, T. Watch and learn. You're gonna get us killed one of these days. Maybe. But at least you'll kick it with a smile on your face and your balls in the right place. Finally. My legs are killing me. Come on. Take a breather. Still nothing from so me. Radio silence. She's never gone dark this long. Troubling, to say the least. How you feel about our roommates? None too bright, but not entirely useless. And two extra guns could always prove handy. Gonna give them that payday, really? Why wouldn't I? They're taking a sizable risk. So, what if Songbird don't show? We need to wait. It's all we can do for now. If she doesn't show, well... Then... We'll have one other option to consider. But let's table it till morning. We should get some rest. <laughs> Surreal. All of it. What's that? I'd have been home by now. Reading the evening brief. Glass of water and two sleeping pills waiting on the night table. Doesn't sound like you miss it much. Hmm. See you in the morning, V. She's on the balcony. Sleep okay? Night all right? Like any with a roof overhead. Claustrophobic. As for Jacob, he thrives in dreamland. Come on, baby. Ever ridden in a Rayfield? My villa with VIP friends? High society? On and on till the crack of dawn. A man with ambitions, clearly. Those in a deviated septum. Where's Jacob? Fresh air drop nearby. Jay went down for a look-see.
She's not here. Means she's not coming. You seen the swarms Henson has out hunting? Might have nabbed her. Possibility. One that concerns me the most. I need to find her. You don't leave your people behind enemy lines. Could it still buy that fairy tale bullshit? Whatever happened, we have to help her. Gotta talk backup plan. Not a plan, a man. The kind we need. Solomon Reed's the name. Seven years ago, he headed up our intelligence efforts in Night City. He and Somi were a team. With the conflict over, he went into hibernation. So he's out there somewhere. Reed's a man of principle. He can't be swayed, can't be bribed. If there's anyone we can trust now, it's him. A sleeper agent? No shit. Tell me more. Unless that's like a state secret or whatever. It is. Of the false bottom drawer variety. Let's say you want to secure your interests on another country's soil. If diplomacy fails, you resort to other means. Like a military coup. That's one option. Solomon Reed is another sure one. Reed guy sounds like an ace up your sleeve. Could have played him already. Activating a sleeper agent is no simple matter. You'll need a dog whistle. What now? Don't tell him I called it that. It's a signal only Reed will hear. It'll be tricky. Huh. There was a secret comms channel accessed only from a Capitan Caliente nearby. The FIA used it before the war. The access code was... 0931. Got a bad feeling, V. Meaning an analog landline. That crash tear open a hole in space-time? When sending sensitive information, you use the technology least vulnerable to interception, old or not. That Caliente should still be wired for it. Owner have a thing for antiques? He had a thing for federal money. And he might still be alive. Remember, 0931. Okay, seems doable. And I prefer discretion to destruction. I trust that's clear. Uh-huh, so what'll happen next? Reed will need to screen you. You'll show him this. It means you work for us. What the? The file will be created for you in the FIA database. Wait, back up. Tell me I'm a special agent now. That's right. We're taking the oath make it feel more real. Secret comms line, presidential token. What's next? The coded message in today's scream sheet? That token is for your safety. If Reed isn't 100% certain I sent you, he won't hesitate to kill you. Yeah, nah. Let's skip the formal thing. Is there a problem? It's just a big commitment, you know? Can't swear to something I don't believe in. It's your choice. I understand this was sudden. Good luck out there, V. And don't let the bastards nab you. Supposed to go to the local Capitan Caliente. Know the place? <laughs> it's not my top choice for hair of the dog, but it closed down. The business went under and the owner chose the rope. Listen, this Reed character, think we can trust him? Seven years is a long time. Long enough to change a man. Hmm, I think so. You may be right. Or perhaps we can look at it another way. Seven years a sleeper. Any other agent would have walked out long ago. But not Reed. 
How'd you and Somi meet? Well, she broke into my house. <laughs> Sorry, what? By which I mean a Militech data fortress. We mapped her signal at the very last second. They should have flatlined her, but... You don't kill talented teenagers when they do stupid things. You recruit them. Give kids like her a chance to make history. Reed understood that best of all. And of course he was right. Thinking after the crash, Militech's eyes must be glancing your way. And that gives Arasaka all the window they need. Maybe. But for now I'm simply Schrodinger's president. Perhaps alive, perhaps dead. Both sides are certainly preparing for either outcome. So... So it seems it's business as usual. You ever consider all the vets of all your wars? Tend to land with the nomads. Met quite a few of them, actually. Veterans know better than anyone. Freedom, the open road. They're just empty words. It's more like you've left them without options. Hmm. That I do understand. I know many of our former servicemen and women feel we have no place for them. That we don't want them. However, we extend our hand to them in many different ways. They're the ones who need to grab it. Hey, made the right call not taking that fascist-ass oath. Oh, yeah? Some causes are worth pledging your life to, V. This ain't one of them. How'd you come to that? Cause with the biz done, their arm'll still be far up your ass and you'll be a meat puppet. No, I was once a corpo jarhead, right? Practically dove into uniform head first. They had a real hard-on for the oath. Repeat after me, bloody fucking blah. But can't remember what I solemnly pledged to do. Sure you want to talk about this? Gotta hand it to you, V. Wiser than I was back in the day. Who's away? See that crazy color smoke? Yep. Wham bam. One of Hanson's cargo drops, no doubt. She all yours. I sure as shit ain't making that climb. Don't wanna climb or you're not telling me something. You think I'm finna parkour up on one leg? 
Thanks for the heads up. Maybe I'll take a look. Sure thing. Sheesh, what's your link to this area? This is Pacifica's bumping, thumping business heart, where the real deals are done. So, we finally got to meet in person? I can say neither yes nor no. In lieu of an answer, I've new work for you. I hope you'll accept. One last thing. How you breach Dogtown's border, I'm not certain. Though, I suspect not via the main gate. Irrelevant in any case. I've secured clearance for your future convenience. Your name and likeness now registered in the system, granting unfettered passage over the district threshold. Talk again soon. Without your help, check out Ronald's Cream Stands. I'll be damned. A real live customer. <laughs> what can I get you? How's biz? Eddie's flowing. Nah, Chum. Delta Crash got everyone guessing. Half of Dogtown's chasing Rosalind Myers like bitches in heat. Shit's fake news. But tomorrow's another day. Peeps know Ronald's shop always got what they need. Look like a chum has been around D-Town. Around? Shit, player. This is my home turf. Who'd you think I am? You talking to the Pacifica Typhoon, Chum? AKA the DT Prodigy. Yeah, okay, that one ain't my fave. Uh, when they was pumping me with boosters, could blast 100 meters in 6.0. Yeah, you heard right. Now I ain't do hardly 100 a day, no more. But what I'm saying is, hell yeah, I've been around. D-Town's districts, what do you know? Huh, which ones, my man? Golden Pacific being the north of D-Town. I got this hill there, Luxor Heights. Name makes a promise and delivers. Preem views, 10 out of 10. Longshore Stacks is the west side. Place got history, feel me? 
Uh, south is terra cognita. You best stay the fuck clear of there. Okay, Longshore Stacks. What do you know? Hmm. Everything there is pre-Unity War shit, get me? Start seeing containers means you found the place. Them containers? They used to hold bricks and beams for building the hood. Shit got clapped, Avi. But them big-ass boxes ain't going nowhere. Now, we D-Towners, we resourceful. Some clever chooms grabbed them and behold, prem living space in high rises, no less. Ain't no shit go to waste here, you know? Looks or heights? Know anything about them? Hey, best not snoop round there. Them voodoo boys been doing voodoo shit since they made it their crib. Now they hop between two beds, Scavs and Hansons. For your visit, it's good to know who they be fucking around with at the time. Ask if a trouble otherwise. Golden Pacific. <laughs> Grandiose name, am I right? Shit, Choom. Suits promise Eddie's raining down from every window. Peep shit in solid gold. Proved true enough for my man Hanson. He the only one making fat stacks in that place, huh? Golden Pacific's a bar gas breeding ground. Got their beers, logistics, fun times. All in one hell of a dangerous place if you was not one of them dogs. Gotta say, first time in the hood. So, Tara, got any travel tips? As I say, steer the fuck clear of Terra Cognita. Hmm. <laughs> the place was a fucking Quan's paradise years back. Talking space flight, chrome of the future, all sorts of tech. Shit'll fry your skull sponge. Now, nothing but dirt and dust and scabs. Red ass motherfuckers running the place. You go to Terra Cognita? You a corpse incognita. <laughs> you get it? Incognita. <laughs> Since we're already talking. Yeah, yeah, well, what you think? Typhoon Ronnie, huh? You serious? Uh, scan the old screamers if you would doubt. Old Ronnie was a legend in the making. Huh. How'd your uh, rising star suddenly flop? Well, there's this chick, uh, Fiona. It had this, um, center for gifted youth and shit. Future sports stars. All good, right? We, we talking uh, roof overhead, real food, training, boosters and chrome, uh, heaps of chrome, Choom. Shit was all rainbows and roses till you stumble. And Choom, I fucking wiped out. Landed in the D-Town street with mean-ass migraines and insomnia. And I was lucky, too. Got some pretty unique places around here. This hood just exuding clever now, ain't it? <laughs> Even got a pyramid. Hard to miss that one. Pretty prim, hmm? Fixes things up for show. Beers talks get drowned out by wild party hubbub and tracks of the fire. Privacy guaranteed, hmm? Bottoms open to all the riffraff. Upper levels, though? Shit's for VIPs. Big players. Big beers. Feel me? Maybe go and visit myself. <laughs> Banging tunes, dent slides of Snow White, and the biz is in tune. That's how you get in the major leagues. Been to the stadium. Quite a sight. Uh-huh. They had big plans to set up shop there, you know. But whoa, the competition whooped my typhoon ass. You know, Nighthawks was roosting there while Hanson was still shitting his diapers. How's it go? Good times make bad tunes, then bad tunes fuck shit up? Bottom line is all about the Eddies. Who got the most scratch? Hanson. Stadium ain't his main biz, oh no, but I ain't gonna say no more on that, huh? Came through this kind of expo hall. Some curious mock-ups of all kinds of buildings here. Oh, you got guts, man. Like what you saw? Them suits must have been tripping balls coming up with a district plans. <laughs> and then wham! 
reality kicked in. Gongs probably woke up face down in the streets thinking, where'd it all go wrong? Expo ain't no place for civvies. You got pre-war goods and shit there. Best stay clear, especially since Pete's been hearing blasts and explosions. No thank you. Big skyscraper. Know anything about it? Uh, suits called it the Black Sapphire way back when. Folks call it the Hotel or Tower these days. Place is gilded, I hear. Pretty much out of reach for us mortals. Apple hands his eye, his golden egg. He wanna make tunes with you. He gonna invite you there. He had a view from the top's motherfucking Nova. Might be a little crazy, but I ain't cray cray enough to find out for myself. Since we're already talking. Yeah, yeah, well, what you think? Thanks, real helpful. Seem to really know your way around. Well, shit. In my line of work, it's all about the gossip. The juicier, the better. But send some real spicy ones your way if you're so inclined. You know what? Fuck it, why not? Be nice to know what the street's saying. Yeah, starting to get me now, huh? Gotta get a leg up whatever way you can in good old D-Town. Stay in touch, Chum. Let's see what you got. Dreamy shit you ever seen! Man of biz you are, so let's cut a deal. I slip you a few heads, you tell me how to slip inside. You paying for trouble, but okay. Don't ever bail on Eddie's, huh? <laughs> the new <clears throat> owners? A draining power from down the road. Check the cables on the wall, sure to connect somewhere. Tink around, reset the power. Bet your security trinkets just might go dark. Sounds promising.
Capitan Caliente. Guy clearly went down with this place. Stash house by the looks of it. Right. Let's see what's here. Oh, interesting.
Antique. Junky variety. Wonder if it even works. Have a double cheeseburg while you're at it. Reed? Listen, got no time to play games. Hello? Fossil's probably busted. Or you flubbed the number. What the fuck do we do now? Who is this? Call me V. Not exactly loquacious, our man of mystery. Could just prefer text. Damn sure I do. Past prices in Dogtown. Certified resale. I'll be damned. A real live customer. <laughs> what can I get Oh, you 
It was a simple misunderstanding, really. I wanted him to talk to the salt and end the dog. Fuck it 
against the plane. Had a bad day and wham, shoot that shit down. Seats in the house. Gonna be a game to remember. Johnny Silverhand. Basketball fan? That's new. You know what I mean. Another game starting. One where your head's the fucking ball. How do you mean? You're up against seasoned players, whereas you just stumbled onto the court. These are trained sociopaths. Pretend to be your friends while they fucking ain't. So go out and play. Just don't get played. Just come out and say it. You don't trust Myers. No, her type is all. Politicians? Worse, armed forces. Saying no to high-ranking cunts like putting your mouth over the barrel of their gun. Get shitty fast if you try to run. Take it from a deserter. No offense, but can we just chill a sec? Watch the game some. Enjoy just that. Why not? How about a hot dog and a cold beer while we're at it? Pretend we don't got a worry in the world. That would be so nice. Well, when you put it like that, fine. Savor it while it lasts. Don't turn around. Eyes on the court. Hands, what you holding? Johnny, who the hell's breathing down my neck? How the fuck should I know? Only see what you see. I see you holding something. Show me. Got this token. Mean anything to you? Yes. But I need to make sure. Keeps his cards close, this one. Who sent you? Mutual friend. We don't have mutual friends. Friend survived an accident. He might have heard. I might have. Zone defense, that. Keep pushing. Is she safe? Hard to say. The longer we sit here. That's it. Dribble around him. Were you followed? Did you even bother to check? Take me for a fucking gonk? An amateur? You sure fooled me. But fine. That I have to do. Black Thornton Merrimack, on the street. Three minutes, front seat. We better leave separately. Don't want anyone to get suspicious. You first. Don't want to be caught holding hands? Reed? Slippery motherfucker. I think we really hit it off. Sure. Bet he's got candy in that van. Ready to find out? Hey. You see the guy I was talking to a millisecond ago? Big guy? Coat looking like he's planning on flashing some kids, huh? Hey! Shut it or get lost!
Blackthorn. This shit again? Ah! Before we go, apologies for the precautions. I only ever risk so much. Sometimes it's just safer to shove the barrel of a Malorian between a Troon's ribs, even if he is on your side. It's nothing personal. No hard feelings, I hope. Odd introduction, but nice meeting you too, Reed. Not a phrase I often hear in this trade. You're not in the biz, V. Al biz. Actually, I am, though just since yesterday. I was about to say your first time's out are the hardest, but I'm not gonna lie. I combed FIA data for info about you. Interesting profile. Snowman, back at clan. No longer extent. Now a freelance merc. To make things more interesting, FIA agent. You received your commission last night. One thing eludes me. What drove you to get entangled in this mess? Songbird hired me. Know her? Show me. Something up? We used to work together. I thought I heard the last about her, but... That girl's a magnet for trouble. Right. It's time we paid our friend in distress a visit. Address, please. Just, uh, FYI. Not so sure you're gonna like it. Try me. Abandoned building on Crest Street, 8th floor. Damn straight, I don't like it. You left her alone? In Dogtown? Was I supposed to drag her along while cruising around? Mm. Actually? Look, place seemed plenty safe to me. Safe? A derelict building in Dogtown. Just listen to how that sounds. Hold up. I need to take this. Why are you calling me on my day off? Last I heard, you're the manager. Ask Bob. He owes me a favor anyway. Yeah, well, tough nuts. You'd have to manage without me. Boss, man. I work the door at a club. Selection, you know, bouncing. Huh? That your Lilo gig? A bouncer? It pays the bills and nets me a little disposable. Sleeper agents aren't entitled to government pay. Not even under the table. Huh. This is not how I imagine spending my day off. Saving the president? Great action BD shit right there, am I right? Yeah, sure, I guess so. Does my eyes still smoke? I had a ciggy on a balcony this morning. Why you ask? When things start to spiral out of control, she's likely to light up. It's high time we help her out. So this is the place. Eighth floor. Yeah. Lead the way.
Honestly, this is not inspiring confidence. Relax, Shane alone. Made some new tunes, locals. Introductions were a little dicey, but she turned on the charm. Probably has her Dogtown campaign staff by now. This keeps getting worse and worse. If anyone had tried to extract her forcibly, this whole level would be in shambles. No way she would have gone quietly. Take point. Open up. It's me. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Don't move. For fuck's sake. Again? Where is she? That's enough, gentlemen. Put your tools away, gents. Compare length and girth when I'm not around. You the boss. Are you sure? Look around. Positive. Hmm. You remembered my number. Some numbers you never forget. Level with me, Rosalind. You never intended to call that line. Well, I found myself in Night City with a bounty on my head. So it seemed the right moment to reach out, have a tete-a-tete, -tete, reset an old friendship. I'd offer to sit down and chat over coffee, but the clock's ticking. I need to arrange a passage for you to Washington. No, Reed. We need to talk first, all three of us. Come on, we should talk in private. The President, a merc, and a special agent walk into the Oval Office. Question is, where do I fit into this joke? You've seen the news. Uh huh. Hansen's spin work never fails to amuse. He's not acting purely on his own initiative. Someone from our camp's propping him up. Hansen, any idea who he's in bed with? Rosalind has more enemies than you can count. This shit runs deeper, Reed. I wasn't alone on that flight. I heard so me was on board. Where is she now? V was the last person to talk to her. Most likely scenario. Got caught in some ice in the combat bob when she acted. One little mishack. Happens even to the best. But no way to know for sure. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we need hard evidence, not speculation. Reed, I needn't remind you what this means for the NUS's national security. Besides, she's your prodigy, Saul. You taught her all your tricks. Hell, even recruited her. She and V have a unique... Uh, bond. It's a lead. Our only one for now. You two have to find her. Together. I already died for the cause once. Not enough? What do you mean, already died? What has Myers told you about me? Said you led an intelligence cell here. Went into hibernation at war's end. So she omitted the fact that Arasaka tried to smoke me. <clears throat> and that I ended up in intensive care with three bullet holes. That six months had passed before I could take a shit on my own. Huh. Might have slipped her mind. Convenient. Well, now you know. Let me get this straight. You abandon Reed and NC, leave him for dead, and now expect him to jump right back into shit? Newsflash, Madam President. Got a hell of a debt to pay. You're right. I'm sorry, Reed. For those seven years. Is that enough to get us a fresh start? I'm here, I'll help. But I'm doing it for Somi and my country. Call me naive if you like. As for you, V, you said in the car a songbird hired you, correct? I don't know how much she's paying, but you better ask yourself is it worth it? 
Songbird's my only shot at surviving. Got Arasaka's relic in my head. Slowly, surely, poaching my brain. Seems we're all on the same page now, V. Which means we can help each other, too. Agreed. Think so, too. If we want to find Somi, we gotta dig deep. I mean, actual reconnaissance. No stone unturned. We need contacts, and formers not afraid to sing, who might see something in it for themselves. You'll need to earn their trust. Big ask in Dogtown. Won't be easy. I need to arrange a safe passage to Washington for Myers. Expect my call soon, V. Thanks. For everything. Stay safe. And don't let the bastards get you. Same to you, V. May we meet again in more favorable circumstances. All right, I need to make some calls. It's me. I need a cab. Two people. Long ride. No, no papers. Not this time. Yeah, Dogtown. Waterfront. Usual spot. Thanks. Done. We should leave. Best if we weren't together. V, you'll go five minutes after we do. Good luck, V. So how do we get out of this little corner of paradise? Let's just say it'd be a bumpy ride. <laughs> just like old times, isn't it? You'll have to excuse my friend. He's sometimes... excitable. Right. You ought to teach him about the value of initial impressions. At least his kind goes guns blazing. I mean, screw those stab you in the Baxters. So what's the future hold in store for J&T? Two options. We die in Dogtown, or we hit the road, scoot far, far out of here. I guess it comes down to our dear Madam Prez. Will she keep her word? All good, Jacob? Doggone fairy tale, V. This Rosalind chick? Piece of work if I ever seen one. Thinking we might have had a moment. Shame she ain't finna stay longer. Gotta evac soon. Watch yourself out now there, Now the world better watch out for Jacob. <laughs> yeah, just remember to knock before you enter any shady looking digs. See, if I came knocking last night, I'd have missed the chance to meet my babe Rosalind. And you, I suppose. <sighs> That's life for you, V. There's a lesson in all this, don't you think? Gonna boost soon. Keep an eye on Jay, will you? One shitty nanny I'd make. Hey, keep it real, V.
back in town. What's your status? Our special delivery all good? No delays? Shipped. First leg by sea, then by air. Civilian craft both. But it got to its destination fast and undamaged. Any developments here? My status? <laughs> no real change, I suppose. Then it's time we got down to work. Gotta find our missing friend. Had another pair of eyes. Alex, former team member. She's in Dogtown, under deep cover. She'll help out. Roger that. Got an address? Longshore Stacks, the dive bar called the Moth. After sundown, yeah? Got it. And sense his trade on any potential shadows. 